Nowadays, outer space is a given in everyone's mind. It's virtually in every movie, video game, comic book, novel, and even music and TV shows, causing mostly everyone to believe in outer space without question, even though they have never been there or seen it for themselves. Did you know that we are told that a mere 536 people have been to space, with only 24 of them traveling beyond low Earth orbit? That's barely a drop in the bucket as far as the entirety of Earth's population is concerned. And one of the funniest things is that all 24 people that have supposedly been past low Earth orbit come from the Apollo missions that took place between 1963 and 1972. We haven't been able to go that far since. Here's a glimpse of what NASA astronauts of today are saying. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on space station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. And this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit. And here's Apollo 12 astronaut Alan Bean being interviewed about the Van Allen radiation belts. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belts? No. Now, I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. I don't know the distance to the Van Allen radiation belt. The belts are 1,000 miles to 25,000 miles above then, the Earth. We, then we went right out through them. No effects on your cells? Mm -mm, didn't even know it. I didn't even know it. I don't think anybody, well, maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside, and we didn't get any, you know, added radiation. Not on our mission, by the way, they hadn't been discovered yet. So you see, he wasn't even sure what the Van Allen belts were, and when he was told, he basically says that the radiation belts didn't apply to his mission because they hadn't been discovered yet. Fun fact, did you know that all the data having to do with the alleged moon landings was lost and no longer exists? I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. I haven't uh, seen anything that indicates the telemetry data is even in existence. And as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. Unfortunately. To play it back. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't really give you much of a clue as to, as to where this data ended up and whether it, it still exists or not. How anyone can trust NASA is beyond me.